What's up guys? Bajan at Baker Hill Farm. You're going to see a few things in this video today. It's more of a vlog style. The first thing you'll see is us moving cows. So we are not feeding hay yet. Praise the Lord. We still have all of that over there to graze as well as that. Our cows right now are back there. So our orchard is up here on this hill. That's where our cows are back there. Um, we have like varying sizes of cows and so we have to accommodate their fencing for the taller cows and the shorter cows. So before our cows were similar sizes, that's way easier to accommodate. You're just putting like one wire for one size. Well, we can't do that right now because we have one, our steer is significantly taller than our heifers and we know he will step over if it's too short. And we have learned that if it's too high, um, one of the heifers will go under. So hopefully they will get shocked enough that they're trained and know that's a bad idea. But yeah, let's go move some cows. So looks like Justin made a temporary paddock while we are getting the rope to make, make a new one. Okay, so now we're running another strand. We're just gonna try it with two. One up from that is what she went under last time. So this one right here, Mandy, we decided to start running three strands because of her. She, yeah. But if you can see, they're varying sizes. He's, when he's sitting upright, he's much taller than these. Um, these girls are really short. Their breed is small. And so, um, we kind of have to accommodate both because he'll step over it. So yeah, hopefully though, they're getting used to how painful the shock is and maybe we won't have this problem anymore. Yeah, she thinks I have food. I don't have any food, honey. All right, so we extended their paddock so they can have some fresh grass. And our hope is that they eventually get over there. That's where we need them to be. <laughs> but because of how much poly rope we have, we have to kind of inch them over there. Look at this pretty girl. Okay, so part two of this video <laughs> is getting these potatoes out of the ground because it is going to freeze pretty good this weekend and they've already went through one frost so I'm just gonna dig them up and see what we've got. So it's been about a hundred days but they look like a real sad state of affairs because they have frozen once but they didn't die so I just left them in the ground. Was that foolish? Quite possibly. We'll see. Just setting you here in the dirt and we are gonna put some gloves on and take this plant out of the ground. Okay, well, so far we have one little baby. Oh, we do have some potatoes. They are small, but they are potatoes. Looky there, see that? little bitty babies. Yeah, I'm gonna guess that was the seed. All right, so trying out the next one. So all of these are gonna be really tiny. They look like they need about 30 more days. Maybe not 30, but a lot longer. Hi, Cloud. All right, that's a sad state of affairs, but um, at least I tried. So spring potatoes work out much better than fall potatoes thus far for the first attempt. Quick sweet pea snack. Now we need 
to move the pigs and the chickens. They want a snack, can you tell? We distract them with food and then we redo their fencing in a new spot. We just put the food in the new spot and then put their fencing up. No, you don't need that baby. So we can just roll, we can just roll the thing right in since the chickens didn't try to forage. Okay, let's get the water. All right, this is where they were. There's where we moved them. They, every time I come out here, they think I have a snack. And so you can tell they really needed to be moved and they started molting, so it made it look really bad. They were here a pretty long time, honestly. But this area is where they came off of and it's just so green and beautiful. So, looks awesome. That's it guys. That is the major farm chores we needed to get done. And they're done. So that makes my heart happy. Um, we won't have to do any of those things for a couple days. Those are kind of like our big jobs is moving the animals. It really doesn't take that long um, because we have some really good systems in place. I feel like, I think we have some good systems. Um, we need improvement of course on some things like our water um, system. We definitely need improvement on that. And we could really use some more poly rope um, for our cows and some more posts, but those things are expensive. So we're just making do with what we have. I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe. Give me a comment down below. Let me know what kind of content you enjoy if you enjoy this type of content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.